Good morning and welcome to the 2021 graduation ceremony at University of the Cumberlands. At this time, please rise for the presentation of the colors by the University of the Cumberlands Army ROTC Color Guard. Please remain standing as Ms. Paula Suffrage comes forward to lead us in the singing of the national anthem and for the invocation to be delivered by Ms. Grace Chitwood. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the Let's pray. God, we want to thank you for the ability to be here and celebrate in person and for your goodness and faithfulness through a year that's been so difficult for so many of us. I ask for your blessing on us graduates as we move from here to our next step in our lives. I pray that we may always follow where you lead and that you continue to make our paths clear. Thank you for your continued goodness, grace, and love for us. We give you all the honor and glory of our accomplishments that are being commemorated today here as they'd not be possible without you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Please be seated. You know, as president of this wonderful institution and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to welcome each of you to this historic day as this is our 133rd year since our founding in 1888. We are proud of our institution and proud of our graduating seniors. Historically, we have provided leadership not only in the region, but indeed throughout the nation and literally around the world. Participants in this year's commencement ceremonies include graduates from 40 states and territories in the countries of Canada, Gambia, India, Jamaica, Madagascar, Serbia, Spain, Taiwan, and Ukraine. And today, you, our graduates, will join this long and illustrious list of distinguished alumni. When I look out at you graduates, I, I want to remind you of something. You're going to have a unique story to tell throughout your life about the circumstances of your senior year. How you respond to circumstances is more important, more defining, 
and more lasting than circumstance itself. When you look back at this very disappointing time, how you emerge from it will help define you. At no time since World War II has our great responsibility as individuals been as important for the health and welfare of our country and fellow person as it is today because of the pandemic. Realize the important role you all play and continue to, keep, continue to help those around you as you go forward in life so this country may be stronger tomorrow than it is today. We trust you will do that. Don't stress out over things you can't control. While things may sometimes seem frightening and unsettling, always remember that with hopefulness and with preparation and the proper tools, we are capable of a new and positive beginning. Sometimes the worst things in life that happen to you can be the best things that happen to you if you don't let the worst get the best of you. This too shall pass, and, best, and the best is certainly yet to come. Find the joy. It's always out there. What you choose to believe will affect you and the people in your life. Please choose to believe in things that will help you and your neighbors and avoid believing in things that breed only anger and mistrust. There are many similarities between people, but differences are real too. Don't expect people to think and react the same way you do. Things don't matter. People matter. Trust people, but not always completely. People can't see the smile behind your mask. Let them know you're smiling by your actions. Listen. Really listen to people around you. Try to see the world from their point of view, but don't be afraid to be your own person. Have character. You will be remembered more for your kindness than for your accomplishments. You know, life brings us opportunities and obstacles. Pursue the opportunities be persistent and patient getting past those obstacles. Always look to learn, to grow, and to try new things. And believe in yourself no matter what. Follow your heart, but use your head. And laugh a lot. Please laugh a lot. It sure beats crying. You know, today, the university family pauses to recognize you and the significance of this milestone in your life and in the life of the university. But there is one more group of individuals I'd like to recognize today. If you're a parent, a spouse, or a child, or in some other way a member of a family of someone who is graduating today, would you all please stand? Please stand. <clears throat> you know, as loved ones of those graduating today, you also deserve recognition for your sacrifice, for your concern, and for your labor of love. Please give them a round of applause. You may be seated. It is my pleasure today to recognize our Hutton Scholars. The late Dr. Edward L. Hutton established himself in the business world and became known for his exemplary leadership abilities. Dr. Hutton began his career in 1946 as a deputy director of the Joint Export-Import Agency, United States, United Kingdom, and Berlin, before becoming a vice president and director of the World Commerce Corporation. He then went on to become a consultant in the international trade and finance, an executive vice president and financial vice president of Ward Industries. Dr. Hutton held numerous positions at W.R. Grayson Company, including assistant vice president and executive vice president. He also served as a chairman of multiple boards. Needless to say, Dr. Hutton was a leader in every sense of the word and he personified exemplary leadership practices. Dr. Hutton provided support for our leadership and community service program since its inception, and he was our most vocal cheerleader in our efforts to provide practical training for our students. In addition to the leadership and community service program, 
Dr. Hutton provided vision and support for the Hutton Center for Leadership Studies, the Hutton Townhouse, Hutton Woods and Hutton Woods II communities, Hutton Hall, and the Hutton School of Business. The Hutton Leadership and Community Service Program provides leadership training and community service opportunities for our students. All graduates must complete a minimum of 40 hours of community service. However, students performing a minimum of 200 hours of community service are recognized as Hutton Scholars. I would now like to ask all Hutton Scholars to please stand and be recognized. The class of 2021 has performed 27,275 hours of community service. If we were to equate that to an eight-hour workday, that equals 3,918 eight-hour workdays and 783 40-hour work weeks. The Corporation for National and Community Services values volunteer work at 25,040 sorry, $25.43 uh, per hour, making the U.S. total, an amazing total, $693,603. Please join me in honoring our Hutton Scholars. You may be seated. University of the Cumberlands offers undergraduate students who have excelled academically an opportunity to complete significant research in their major field of study. This advanced independent study or creative activity is conducted over two semesters and mentored by a family member. The resulting thesis and oral presentation are reviewed and approved by both the academic department and the Presidential Scholars Research Committee. This year, two undergraduate students have completed the requirements for this honor. Kaylin Abner, please stand to be recognized. Ms. Kaylin Abner is the daughter of Tom and Monica Abner and is from Bainbridge, Indiana. She is graduating with majors in psychology and human services. Upon graduation, Kaylin plans to pursue a master's degree in Communication Sciences and Disorders at the University of Kentucky. Kaylin's project director was Dr. Jane Whitaker. Kaylin's research project was Benefits of Special Olympics on Volunteers. Ms. Kaylin Abner. <clears throat> Hope Seiler, please stand to be recognized. Ms. Hope Seiler is the daughter of Kenneth and Shannon Seiler and is from Corbin, Kentucky. She is graduating with a major in English Literary Studies and a minor in French. Upon graduation, Hope plans to pursue a master's degree in English Literary History at Ohio University. Hope's project director was Dr. Jolly Sharp. Hope's research project was Spiritual, Social, and Cognitive Empathetic Instruction Through Narrative, and Bronte as a Self-Proclaimed Educator, Ms. Hope Seiler. Please join me in honoring both of our Presidential Scholars. The Berger Award honors a female and male student from the senior class who have demonstrated leadership and service to the university, community, and the larger community as a whole. Recipients must also demonstrate sound academic achievements. These awards are given during graduation services each year. The H.N. and Francis Berger female recipient is Mallory Allen. Mallory Allen is the daughter of Steve and Don Allen of Corbin, Kentucky. She will be receiving a degree in biology with a minor in chemistry. While at Cumberland, Mallory has been a member of a number of organizations, including the J.T. Vallandigham Honor Society, the Pre-Health Club serving as president and communications director, 
to Beta 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 Biology Honor Society, serving as secretary, Alpha Lambda Delta First Year Honor Society, serving as secretary, and Gamma Sigma, Sigma Epsilon Chemistry Honor Society. Mallory has also been a member of the UC Women's Junior Varsity Soccer Team and was named to Women's Soccer Academic All-Conference multiple years. Mallory has received several recognitions and awards, including the Hearst Scholar Award and a designation as a Hutton Scholar. She also received the A.T. Seiler Service Award, which is presented to a student in the junior year of study, one expected to make an outstanding contribution to his or her community in the future. Mallory has also participated in three summer mission trips to Haiti, where she cared for special needs children at an orphanage, helped with construction projects, and learned about the challenges of health care. Mallory has been accepted into the University of Kentucky Medical School's Rural Physician Leadership Program, Class of 2025. This program only accepts up to 12 students per year. Upon completion of the program, Mallory will earn an MD from the University of Kentucky Medical School and a certificate in health systems leadership from Moorhead State University. The HN and Francis Berger Award male recipient is Samuel Golden. Samuel Golden is the son of Dr. Jeffrey and Emily Golden of Somerset, Kentucky. Samuel majored in chemistry and minored in biology. While at UC, Samuel has served as a campus ambassador and an orientation leader. Samuel was a Hearst scholarship worker and served as a teaching assistant for several chemistry classes. He has been a member of the Alpha Lambda Honor Society and was recognized as a Hearst scholarship recipient. While at UC, Samuel has participated in a number of ministry projects including a mission trip to Northern Ireland. He volunteered at a week-long archeological dig in the ancient city of Shiloh in Israel. He has also served as a life group leader at Emmanuel Baptist Church. Samuel was a member of UC's cross country and track team. After graduation, Samuel plans to pursue a career in the medical field as a dermatologist. He believes this specialty is one that is underrepresented in a rural Kentucky area and would like to be a part of the solution to this problem. In addition, Samuel plans on participating in biomedical research. Please join me in honoring the Berger Award recipients. The J.T. Vallandigham's Scholastic Honor Society is the highest academic recognition awarded at the University of the Cumberlands. Membership is offered only to those whose record is marked by consistent exemplary academic performance throughout their undergraduate career. To be eligible for the JTV membership, a student must have earned 96 semester hours with at least 48 hours of credit at UC and a cumulative UC GPA of 3.75. I would now like to ask all JTV recipients to stand so we can honor you. You may be seated. The Sullivan Award honors a female and male from the senior class who have made a significant contribution to the university and demonstrate outstanding spiritual values. Each recipient receives an engraved medallion, a personalized frame certificate, and a book. The recipient of the Algeron Sidney Sullivan Award is Miguel Reyes. Miguel is the son of Wagner Machado Reyes and Elaine Morales de Carvalho of Lorena, Sao Paulo, Brazil. He will be receiving degrees in Christian studies and psychology. While at UC, Miguel has been a member of the soccer and track teams. He was named NAIA Academic All-Conference. He also serves as the resident hall director, and as a director, his goal is to inspire students to study the things that inspire them so that together they can create a better world. Miguel also serves in a leadership role in the Diversity Club and has worked with the Junior Company Initiative where he developed two entrepreneurial incentives. 
this first business proposed was called the Holler Creative Junior, a nonprofit organization that would help combine creativity and database marketing strategies to fuel the growth of local business. The second business was called UC Nutri Junior, aimed at providing nutrition services to improve the health of students and the community. After graduation, Miguel plans to pursue the Master of Science degree in project management at UC. When asked about his future goals, Miguel stated that, quote, God created each one of us with a specific purpose, and I aim to help people find their purpose, end quote. The Mary Mildred Sullivan Award winner is being presented to Kaylin Abner. Ms. Abner, please stand. Kaylin Abner is the daughter of Tom and Monica Abner of Bainbridge, Indiana. She's worked towards a master's, I'm sorry, a bachelor's of science degree in psychology and human services. While at Cumberland, Kaylin was a member of Psy Chi, the National Honor Society for Psychology, serving as president and vice president. She was also a member of Tau Upsilon Alpha and the student government organization. She recently completed presidential research on the benefits volunteers receive while working with the Special Olympics. In addition to her work with the Special Olympics, Kaylin worked with Indiana's Autism Society, traveling to homes and helping children learn to complete day-to-day -day activities and make decisions that can be incorporated to improve the child's day-to-day -day life. Kaylin has been a member of UC women's soccer team, serving as captain for three years. She was recognized as academic all-conference each year she's been on the team. She was described by a psychology professor as, quote, one of the hardest working and most strongly motivated students I have the pleasure of teaching. She is extremely organized, future-oriented, and determined in her goals, end quote. After graduation, Kaylin was accepted to the Communication Sciences Disorder Graduate Program at the University of Kentucky. Following completion of her graduate degree, Kaylin plans to work as a speech pathologist at a children's hospital while pursuing her doctorate degree. Ms. Kaylin Abner. The Gorman Joan Award honors a female graduating senior who manifests the best qualities of campus leadership. An engraved medallion is awarded each year to this award recipient. The Gorman Jones Campus Leadership Award is being presented to Jennifer Stein. Jennifer Stein is the daughter of Rick and Melanie Stein of Louisville, Kentucky. She will be receiving degrees in accounting and business administration with a minor in Spanish. She's a member of Sigma Beta Delta, the Business Honorary Society. Jennifer is the first student from UC to earn the Sigma Beta Delta Educational Scholarship through a competitive international scholarship selection process. In addition, Jen is an inductee of Sigma Delta Phi Spanish Honor Society. In 2017, she participated in a mission trip to Belmont, North Carolina to work alongside the Sisters of Mercy. She has served the HSB Business Club in several roles, including president, vice president, and secretary. She's an active member of Kentucky Society of Certified Public Accountants and the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. She's a three-time awardee of the KYCPA Educational Foundation Scholarship and is a William J. Ford Scholarship recipient. She's been a member of the UC Varsity Women's Volleyball Team, serving as captain this current academic year. She was recognized as an academic all-conference recipient, a Dictronic Scholar Athlete, and was awarded the National Champions of Character Team Award. She's currently pursuing her MBA with a concentration in accounting at the University of the Cumberlands. While she is still looking for a specific career path with business and accounting to pursue, licensure as a CPA is certainly in her future. Please join me in honoring our Gorman Jones Award recipient. The T.J. Roberts Leadership Award honors a male graduating senior who manifests the best qualities of campus leadership. An engraved medallion is awarded each year to this recipient. The T.J. Roberts Leadership Award is being presented to Matthew Fannin. Matthew is the son of Mike Fannin and Donna Dotson of Hinman, Kentucky. He'll be receiving degrees in accounting, business administration, and Christian studies. He is a member of Sigma Beta Delta, the Business Honorary Society, the HSB Business Club, the National Honor Society, and is a two-time awardee of the KYCPA Educational Foundation Scholarship. As a member of the HSB Business Club, he served in a variety of community service activities, including initiatives to provide food, clothing, and stuffed animals to needy families, as well as serving residents of local nursing homes. 
He's been extremely active in campus and community ministry and has served for many years as a volunteer leader and counselor with a variety of Christian ministries. Matthew has spent several summers as a camp counselor at Camp Nathaniel. Camp Nathaniel strives to minister to, to the economic and spiritual needs of the people of southeastern Kentucky. After graduation, Matthew plans to enroll in two graduate programs at UC. He plans to pursue the MBA with concentrations in accounting and strategic management, as well as a master's degree in Christian studies. After completion of graduate studies, Matthew envisions a career as a cost accountant at a manufacturing firm. Please join me in honoring our T.J. Roberts Award recipient. President Cockrum, by the approval and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I present to you these candidates for graduation. They have successfully completed all of the requirements for one of the following degrees. Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music, and Bachelor of Science. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of University of the Cumberlands, as determined by the Commonwealth of Kentucky, each member of the graduating class of 2021 will have conferred upon him or her the degree as appropriate with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto. The members of the class will come forward as your names are called by Dr. Jordan Carmack. Sarah Ann Dubbs, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Applied Science, Human Services, JTV honoree. Ricky Nicole Bailey, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. She will be attending graduate school at Campbellsville University studying social work. Samantha Lucille Rodarte, Associate of Science, Psychology. Alan Lee Blair, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Brianna Lee Kane, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. <laughs> Carrie Haynes, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Applied Science, Accounting and Business Administration, JTV honoree. <laughs> John Lucas Neely, cum laude, Bachelor of Science Education, Elementary Education. He will be attending graduate school at Eastern Kentucky University studying Applied Behavior Analysis. <laughs> Dalton Lee Hardin, Bachelor of Science, Psychology and Christian Studies. Judy Ann Wright, cum laude, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. <laughs> Connie Michelle Farron, Bachelor of Applied Science, Business Administration. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, pursuing a Master of Arts in Teaching. Zachary Rick Martin, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Woo! 
Ariel McKenzie Rush, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Hutton Scholar. Lauren Fay Stokes, Bachelor of Science Education, Middle School Education, Hutton Scholar. Jennifer Jo Bowman, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, JTV Honoree. Brian Gregory Leaf, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Jared Monroe Kilgore, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Accounting and Business Administration, Hutton Scholar. He will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, pursuing his MBA. Michaela Lachey Durham, Bachelor of Science, Communication Arts. Paula Brianne Suffrage, Bachelor of Music Education, Music Education Major. Kylie Logan Godinez, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Arts Education, Elementary Education and Spanish, Hutton Scholar, JTV Honoree. <laughs> Ashley Marie Toby, cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Psychology and Human Services, JTV Honoree. She will be attending graduate school at Grandview University, studying mental health, health counseling. Spencer Clifton Bargo, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Emily Sierra Nicole Jeffords, Bachelor of Applied Science, Business Administration. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, pursuing an MBA. Dorinda Marie Andrews, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science Education, Middle School Education and English, JTV honoree. Ashley Marie Eichner, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration and Accounting, JTV Honoree. <laughs> Chastity Melissa Cortez, Bachelor of Science, Human Services and Public Health. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying criminal justice. Jade Alexis Pinkston, cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> David Hong Lido, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Applied Science, Information Technology. <laughs> Megan Renee Kelly, Bachelor of Science, Public Health. She will be attending nursing school in the fall. Aaron Warner, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration and Accounting. He will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, pursuing his MBA. Alec Joseph Williams, Bachelor of Science, Music. Hutton Scholar. He will be attending graduate school at Austin P. State University, studying music performance. Mary Jane Phillips, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Christian Studies, JTV honoree. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, pursuing the Master of Arts in Christian Studies degree. Desiree Noel Key, Bachelor of Science, Human Services. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands.
Brandon Lee Simpson, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, JTV honoree. <laughs> Heather Michelle McClure, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Sylvia Y. Hodges, summa cum laude, Associate of Science, Psychology. She will continue her education at University of the Cumberlands, studying psychology. <laughs> Lana Shepard, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Carrie Renee Tackett, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Human Services, JTV honoree. <laughs> Holly Weaver Bryant, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Kayla Alicia Green, Bachelor of Science, Human Services. She will be attending graduate school at Campbellsville University, pursuing a Master of Social Work. <laughs> Diane Marie Maya, Bachelor of Science in Art. Sarah Beth Price, Bachelor of Science, Communication Arts and Youth and Family Ministry, Hutton Scholar. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying information technology. Jordan Lee Price, Bachelor of Science, Public Health and Business Administration. He will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, pursuing an MBA. Beth Ann Hazelwood, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, and a minor in Human Services. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberland, studying mental health counseling. <laughs> Kaylin Abner, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Human Services, and Psychology. She will be attending graduate school at the University of Kentucky, studying communication science disorders. Laura Ejuo Ochora, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration, Fitness and Sport Management. <laughs> Hannah Marie Truckenmiller, Bachelor of Science, Fitness and Sport Management. Morgan Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying mental health counseling. Grace Danielle Chitwood, cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology and Business Administration, JTV and Hutton Scholars. Jacob Griffin Sido, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. He will be attending graduate school at the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Arizona. Marcus David Kidwell, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Leah Danielle McGee, Bachelor of Science Education, Elementary Education. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying teacher leadership. <laughs> Carly Lynn Miller, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science Education, Elementary Education, and a minor in English, JTV scholar. Jessica Lynn DeBoard, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Science Education, Elementary Education, JTV honoree. <laughs> Lee
Laura Elizabeth Higgins, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Science, History and Political Science. She will be attending graduate school at the Salmon P. Chase College of Law at Northern Kentucky University. <laughs> Melinda Ann Hall, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Hannah Cameron, cum laude, Bachelor of Science Education, Elementary Education. Faye Celeste Pineda, cum laude, Bachelor of Arts, Fitness and Sport Management, JTV Scholar. <laughs> Jacob Andrew Morgan, Bachelor of Science, Exercise and Sport Science, Fitness and Sport Management majors. <laughs> Kedron Hill, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Denisha Leanne Morris, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, JTV Scholar. Cassiopeia Lee Hamilton, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Hutton Scholar. She will be attending graduate school at the University of Kentucky, studying the Physician's Assistant Studies Program. Allison Faith Powers, Bachelor of Science, Human Services. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying addictions counseling. <laughs> Dominique Marquette Thompson, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Public Health and Exercise and Sports Science. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying health and human performance. Amanda Lynn Engel, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. <laughs> Hannah Joyce Gaw, Bachelor of Science, Biology. She will be attending graduate school at Lincoln Memorial University, studying the Doctor of Physical Therapy. Grace McKenzie Cross, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Megan Virginia Coldiron, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Applied Science, Business Administration and Information Technology, JTV honoree. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying business administration. Taylor Page Hoskins, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Biology. She will be attending graduate school at the University of the Cumberlands, pursuing the Master of Science in Physician Assistant Studies. Charity Lee Johns, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice and Human Services. Christy Lee Adams, Bachelor of Science, Human Services. <laughs> Helen Michaela McDonald, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Exercise and Sports Science, JTV honoree. She will be attending graduate school at Madisonville Community College and studying to be a physical therapy assistant. Sarah Margaret Sherman, Bachelor of Science, Communication Arts and Accounting. <laughs> Noah Carson Fields, cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. He will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying cybersecurity. Aaron Lee Adams, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. He will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying business administration. <laughs> Emily Lynn Cardis, Bachelor of Science, Human Services.
Miranda Joy Loria, Bachelor of Science, Fitness and Sport Management. She will be attending graduate school at Northwestern University studying prosthetics and orthotics. <laughs> Joshua Aaron Isaacs, Bachelor of Science, Biology and Criminal Justice. Abigail Ann Genders, cum laude, Bachelor of Science Education, Elementary Education. <laughs> William Bradley Jeffries, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Human Services, JTV honoree. He will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying Justice Administration. Shem Powell, cum laude, Bachelor of Applied Science, Criminal Justice, JTV honoree. Caitlin Alexis Soltero, cum laude, Bachelor of Arts, Human Services, JTV honoree. Kevin Jose Rolon, Bachelor of Arts, Exercise and Sports Science. Pedro Alberto Nazario, Bachelor of Science, Exercise and Sports Science, Hutton Scholar. He will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands studying coaching. Hope Michelle Seiler, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Arts, English. She will be attending graduate school at Ohio University, studying literary history. <laughs> Jessica Renee Talby, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, JTV scholar. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, pursuing a Master of Arts in Teaching. Craig Robert Schwartz, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. <laughs> Caleb Allen Seiler, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics and Physics. He will be attending graduate school at Ohio University studying mathematics. <laughs> Christian Cox, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Rusty Lee Faulkner, Bachelor of Science Education, Elementary Education. <laughs> Ashley R. Prunty, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Alyssa Cerdera Howard. Magna cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Biology. She will be attending graduate school at University of the Cumberlands, studying the Physician Assistant Studies. <laughs> Brennan Scott Walton, cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Jessica Ray Beach, cum laude, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Milan Stojovanovic, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Exercise and Sports Science. <laughs> Nemanja Jovanovic. Bachelor of Science, Business Administration.
Will the graduates please stand? On behalf of the faculty and administration, I offer congratulations to you, the most recent graduates of the university. As you leave these halls of this Christian institution, may you acknowledge your privileges and accept your responsibilities as you serve God, your country, your fellow man, and your alma mater. Now as a token of having received your degrees, you will change your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. As University of the Cumberland's newest alumni, we welcome you into the family of University of the Cumberland's graduates. We sincerely hope you always find a place in your heart for University of the Cumberland's, as we will always have a place in our hearts for you as you serve around the world. Now, before I do the benediction, let me remind you to please remain seated until the recessional is completed. Now may we please pray. Gracious God, we ask your blessing upon these young women and men who we honor today for their achievements. We celebrate their capacity for creativity, for critical thinking, for focused effort. We are grateful that they and their families entrusted University of the Cumberland's faculty and staff to engage them intellectually, morally, and spiritually. Thank you for their confidence to discover and explore new possibilities and knowledge to discern what is right and good and just. Enable them to draw upon the wisdom and experience of yesterday as they respond to questions and concerns of tomorrow. Support our graduating students as they continue to make a difference in the world and lead a life for the greater glory of God. Amen. <laughs>